In this tutorial series, we'll create the game Protect the Moon, a fixed wave sci fi shooter. Begin by downloading the project files for this tutorial series by visiting the following GitHub repository. If you need further information on how to clone a GitHub repository, please see the description below. Once the project files have been cloned or downloaded from the GitHub repository, we want to open our project through the Project Manager. Locate and double click the Project Manager icon. If this is your first time opening a project, you'll find an Open Project button located in the center of the Project Manager. Alternatively, if you have an existing project, you can open an existing project by locating and clicking on the New Project button in the upper right-hand corner of the Project Manager window. From there, you can select the Open an Existing Project option from the drop-down menu. Either of these methods will launch Windows File Explorer. From here, navigate and select your Clone Project folder. Next, in the bottom right-hand corner, click on the Select Folder button. This will load the project into your Project Manager. In order to ensure that our project files are synchronized with the version of O3DE currently installed on our system, we'll need to build our project. While hovering over our button tile, locate and click on the Build Project button. Then, from its drop-down menu, select the Build option. Next, an option box will appear inquiring into whether or not you're ready to build. Click the Yes button. The words Building project with the current phase of the build process will appear. This information will disappear once the build process has completed. Next, let's open our project. Once the mouse cursor is placed above the project tile, an open editor icon will appear. Click on it. We know our project is currently loading because both the O3D splash screen and the asset processor will appear. Once the asset processor has completed processing our files, the O3D editor will open. This concludes our first video on setting up our project please visit the O3D YouTube channel or check out the link below for the next tutorial in this series. Thanks for watching.